Hello everyone and welcome back to Stamping Squirrels. Today I'm going to demonstrate this Christmas technique to you which is like tarnished silver and this is a quick and easy way to do it. I've seen lots of other examples on YouTube and on Pinterest where people have used um, stamp emboss powder, heat emboss powder to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this with a stamp pad. Really quick, really easy and great effect. So I'm doing it with a silver background so I'm going to call it a silver tarnished effect and we're going to be using some kind of browns and copper colours to give it that kind of tarnished look. So I'm going to hold it up and hopefully the light will allow you to have a look and see just how great, what an impact that really makes. And so we're going to be using the new Stamping Cut and Emboss Evergreen Forest 3D Embossing Folder. It's in the holiday season catalogue, really overlooked in my opinion great amazing detail on the embossing folder so yeah we're going to be doing this so let's carry on and crack out a christmas card so the dimensions for use for this particular card i've got a piece of black card stock here but a basic black 11 and 5 8 by 4 inches it's been scored at 5 and 7 8 and it's going to make a card that measures 5 and 7 8 by 4. and then i've got a piece of silver foil and the foil measures three and seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters of an inch. And then we've got a couple of bits of scrap, a piece of scrap white, a piece of uh, scrap foil. Now, um, for some of the examples I've used, this bit that we're going to punch out here, I've used the burnished, sort of the uh, ones that are in the holiday season catalogue. Again, all of the burnished or tarnished kind of brasses, that kind of colour. This is a piece of copper foil that we're going to be using here and also I've got a little bit of scrap black here now in the UK when you actually have an A4 piece of card in our cardstock packs you will get they measure this so they measure 11 and 5 eighths and I've cut this uh, 11 and 5 eighths long and they're just a bit longer this is the off cut off the side so that's the width basically of a piece of uh, A4 cardstock in the UK. So all I've done is I've cut two pieces of four, two four inches by 11 and 5 eighths out of uh, one, one sheet. And then the slither that comes off is this bit. And so that measures a quarter of an inch. And I've simply cut that, and we're gonna be using that across the bottom of the strip. So I'm gonna be doing this one as an example today, not the one with the white background which is this one. I'm going to be using the one with a black background and I'm going to be using this black strip as well to effect. I think it looks quite good there. So keep that piece of black as an off cut as well. So there's our card base. I'm just going to give that a quick burnish. Make it nice and tight. Put that to one side. Then if we take our gold, uh, silver foil I should say, piece of silver foil here, three and seven eighths by five and three quarter, and we bring back the stamp and boss folder. I'm going to try and show you this, which is really bad. There, can you see? All those lovely pine Christmas trees, fantastic. So I'm just gonna nip off now. I'm gonna place this into the folder. Now, this is a six by six folder. And I just want to give you an example here of what it would look like if you did it six by six. So this is a piece of six by six copper foil. Isn't that great? Look at that. The detail is incredible. Really, really effective. And what a great background for all of your cards, your Christmas cards. And here's another example that I did on silver foil, but this time I've coloured it with greens as well as the kind of the coppery tones. Probably can't see too well there. Really, really effective. So, yes, yeah, so, but I'm going to place this piece of silver foil not at the bottom because at the top here, I want all the tops of the trees. So I'm just going to place it so that the top of the tallest tree comes to just underneath the top of my piece of silver foil. I want to make sure that's straight. Like that. I'm just going to pop off now and cut and emboss that and then I'll be straight back. All right, so that's gone through the machine now and when we open it up, you will see that it's really beautiful really beautifully embossed like that. I'm going to hold that up so you can see. Look at the detail on the card. 
really lovely. So we're going to put that embossing folder to one side, we don't need that anymore now. And the next stage is we're going to actually colour it. Now, you need to be aware that you will get dirty fingers for this. It's not the cleanest of jobs, it's quite grubby. Um, so be prepared. Uh, so I'm going to be using a couple of colours. I have chosen to use this Stays On Saddle Brown, which was in the Stamping Up catalogue. Um, it's a great brown and it comes out quite coppery, but you could use any brown for this, really. Um, doesn't matter and mix it up because the other thing that I'm going to be using is I've got a little ink stamp here, the little stamping spots, and this is early espresso. So I'm going to be using that one as well. Uh, and it's really super simple. What I would advise is either put on some little disposable gloves or and what I've got here is I've just got an old minky dishcloth so once it gets beyond use, I keep them really for crafting and I'm just going to be using that to rub off with. So I'm going to turn that over so it's got the softer side. And as I said, be warned, you might get dirty fingers with this. And you certainly get a dirty background. So make sure that you've got a piece of scrap or something down at the bottom to protect your table or wherever you craft. And it's just really simple. I'm going to take the top off and I'm going to just turn it. And using the edge of just the ink pad, I'm going to do this. Okay, and then I'm going to take my early espresso, which probably needs re-inking by the looks of things. Turn that to one side again. Okay, there's the dirty fingers already. And I'm going to take my cloth, and I'm going to run it up like that. I'm going to wipe my fingers. And then bring back my ink spot and I'm just going to recolour some bits and essentially just keep doing it until you are happy with the colours that you've got. Now what I would say to you is don't rub too hard because this has been very heavily embossed. If you rub very very hard then you are in danger of lifting off some of the foils. So I just want to show you this as an example. So here on the green, this bit here, this blob that you can see, is where I rubbed exceptionally hard and it's lifted off the foil. And there's some bits just about to happen just here as well. So yeah, just be really careful that you don't rub too hard, you pat. So I'm really happy with that and that is just like super quick way of just adding that tarnish to your silver foil. So at this stage I'm going to now pop that to one side as well. I'm going to bring on my two bits of scrap and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And so I've chosen a sentiment from Itty Bitty Christmas and I'm going to pick Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And to stamp that on, I am bringing back the Saddle Brown just to keep the colours consistent. And then I'm going to bring in a couple of punches. So what we've got here is we've got the everyday label and we've got the timeless label. So here's the timeless label. I'm going to stamp or punch this out with the timeless label. like so and then using your piece of scrap foil I'm going to use the everyday label and punch that out as well pop that back up okay now what I wanted to do and I'll just bring back my example here see if I can show you this one's probably better is I've sponged around the outside of this with grey to give it a kind of a silver look so it teams in a little bit better with the silver foil. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in here the smoky slate, like this. And then I'm going to go and find my finger daubers. And I'm going to find the, because I have to, the smoky slate finger dauber. Now you can do this with any colour, any, any grey or silver if you have it. And I'm just gently going to smudge around the outside. So that's that. So the next stage is I'm going to pop these onto some dimensionals. And then I guess what we could do is we could stick this down now onto our card base. Measure that up. And can you see when I turn that over now and squish it down, it's still a little bit wet of the glue. Now what you can do is you can heat that up. You can use the heat, your heat gun and you can dry that off if you wanted to. Just remember it gets on your fingers if you don't choose to do that. And then the next thing is we're going to bring back that scrap of black. Remember this little off cut that we had? Uh, and we're just going to stick that down and then trim it off. So I'm going to take my strip, line it up. And I know that that's probably going to go to there, but that's great. And for this, I'm just going to use a bit of wet glue to stick down. And then we're going to pop this on. And again, I'm going to come back with my dimensionals. And then I'm going to finish it off. And I'm going to finish it off with some of this ribbon. This is the metallic mesh ribbon. Uh, I want to make a little bow that looks like this. It's really super easy to do. It's silver. Um, so. I think it will go quite well. I'm going to squash it together to start with because it needs to be quite a tiny bow. And when I've got something that I'm happy with, I can pull out the sides. Oops. And make something I'm happy with. And that's going to go about there. So I think it needs to be a tad smaller. Trim that off. These aren't the best scissors to do that. Okay. And I'm going to pop that here. And I'm going to pop that there with a di uh, not a dimensional, a glue dot. And that just really leaves me to decorate it with some embellishments if you want to, or you could just leave it completely plain. I'm choosing to just add a few of these on. So I've got, a, I've got these metallic pearls, the gold and the silver ones. Uh, and also I'm in love with these, the elegant faceted gems. Beautiful. So I think what I'm probably going to do is, because I've got a bit of silver and gold on this, I'll use the metallic pearls, I think, today. So all that really leaves is if you wanted to, you could write on the inside of the card in a gold or silver metallic pen. Or you could put a white sheet or a corresponding alternative contrasting colour in there to write on. But yes, yeah, super fast tarnished card. Really effective and all you really need is a great embossing folder. Looks a bit like the Northern Lights in gold on the top. So that's my project. I hope you've enjoyed it. Here, just bring back the others that we've made just so that you can get a good look at those as well. 
So yeah, here we are. Tarnished silver, Christmas tree card using the wonderful embossing folder that is Evergreen, Evergreen Forest 3D. Thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas to you all. Have a safe and happy Christmas and we hope to see you back at Stamping Squirrels again really soon. Bye bye!